Good morning, everyone! How are you today? I'm up, I'm getting ready today, I'm excited to be here, I'm having a little makeup playtime with myself, and I thought I'll just turn the camera on, and whoever wants to, you know, just kind of watch this process go down, you can. I'm not making any promises in this video, I'm just having fun. I'm literally just enjoying the act of putting on makeup. I need some coffee first. I've got a little bit of a sore throat. I've had one for like the last three days. I've had maybe a little bit of a sinusy drainage type thing happening, not much, but the sore throat doesn't feel as bad today and the coffee is making it feel so good. Yes, we're coming out of it. I don't know how I did it, my friends, but I'm fighting this thing off. Do I wanna do my makeup headband today? My hair's still drying from my shower last night. Did I mention I'm in a little bit of a weird mood because I've not gotten the proper amount of sleep the last two nights? When in doubt, put your massive makeup headband on. The night before last, Tyler went to uh, Cardinals game, which St. Louis is a good two-hour drive from us, and then the game started at 7. It lasted till I think a little after 10, so he was home pretty late, and I was just like, I was planning to just go to sleep, but for whatever reason, I felt like staying up, watching like every YouTube video in my feed, buying some things off of Ulta. I was just up, like I, I couldn't turn myself off. And then last night, we were just up talking about everything and it turns out it's like 11:45, and that's late for me but brace yourselves for a slow reveal of the most awesome t-shirt ever i got that shirt off of amazon <laughs> Dawson's Creek, baby. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about Dawson's Creek in this video, so all y'all who are over it, it's okay. Nobody's told me they're over it, but I just, I feel you. I have sympathy for those of you who aren't watching it. Can we do some makeup already? Okay, we're gonna use this. This is the new IT Cosmetics Matte CC with SPF 40 in this one, not the 50, uh, but it says poreless finish full coverage cream. And this lasted really, really well on me. I'm trying to pick up on the finish differences between this and the regular because I really like the regular. Heck, when I'm looking for a glowy finish, I like the illumination too. But um, yeah, I just need to wear this a little bit more to really figure out how I feel about it finish wise. And I am wearing this in, I believe it's medium. I'll double check in a second. I got stuff on my fingers. Confirmed, it is medium. And this is my Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush, my third child. See, it really is pretty instantly matte. But I guess I just never thought of the original CC cream as being ultra glowy, you know? Like, so that was kind of my thought when this first launched and I saw, oh, they're doing a matte CC. I was just kind of thinking about how the original, I thought, was not over the top with shine. This does seem more matte than that. The matte is really instant. It's not like it sets to matte, it just is. I do think the original does look a little more dewy like right after you put it on. The coverage is always impressive with these. I mean, look, you can see some dark circle. We're gonna deal with this, but as far as the melasma goes, I mean, that is there. And it didn't 100% cover it up, but it really nearly did. And the T-zone looks really matte. Thinking about what I wanna do for concealer. I would like to use my Tarte, my creaseless concealer. In case you haven't seen like all of my last videos where I rave about this, um, this, this used to be packaged in the little squeezy tube. They say it's the same formula, just new packaging now with the wand and it's completely reinvigorated my love for the product. So I don't know if you can tell, I'm not putting on a lot, but I use this little brush that comes with it, which is one of those really dense brushes. This is specifically from Tarte, but I know other brands make them, so use whatever. But it really like, I don't know, makes the product work into the skin perfectly. It doesn't overwork it, so I think you get the maximum amazing coverage. It's a little tricky around your innermost corner. Depends on how deep you go in there. You know, I'm a little bit deep set right there, so that's kind of tricky for me to reach. But all in all, it is a fabulous concealer and it doesn't make you feel dry. It's really nourishing. A little bit goes a long way. They actually do advise you to only use like a couple of dots or something of it as opposed to like swiping it on thick. You don't need to do that. I need to just a little more down here. It's such a happy thing, you guys, when you land on the proper tone of concealer. It's like, it's such a wonderful thing. 
Are we happy with this? I'm happy with this. Now one powder I'm gonna use like kind of all over the skin is this Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This came, I guess it was in the TSV with this, but the thing about the Tarte Maracuja, even with a minimal amount of product applied, you kind of feel like you wanna set it just a little bit. Okay, Old Faithful's coming to party today. This is my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. I just spent a really long time looking at powders. It's like when I spend a long time thinking about what I'm gonna wear for a video and then pull the same black shirt. Who can relate? Okay, so I'm just using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and I'm dabbing it right in on the under eye. I don't need to put it everywhere because I'm gonna put that other powder everywhere. <laughs> I love the way this brush feels. It fits this place so good. I'm feeling sharper already. Now we can bring in this. And this says sheer to full coverage finishing veil. What a weird, like, I don't know, description. Like, what kind of expectation should you have in your mind when you hear sheer to full coverage? I don't know that I would call it literally full coverage, but it does have a surprising amount of coverage. It feels like a powder when you swatch it, like when you first get it on your finger, and then you kind of rub it in, and you're like, ooh. But it's creamy in not like, oh, that's a creamy feeling powder way, but like it literally kind of feels like it's going to a creamy place. Interesting product, right? So I'm gonna pick some of this up with my e.l.f. Um, complexion brush. And I feel like it really does add to the coverage of the look a lot. I'm feeling like I'm gonna wanna be using this as sort of my all over powder, just in a general sense, most days probably. I really do like this. And I like the additional SPF they're throwing in too. And so this again, I'm wearing in medium just like the um, CC cream. I saw the best thing on the um, Forever 21 Instagram last night. I just gotta tell you, and then I really kinda need to grab a Kleenex. Um, where is it? By the way, this little clip here, this stand is genius. I got this for a dollar at Walmart. It says your birth month is what you're good at. And Tyler and I were laughing about this last night because I tease him about looking like a snack. <laughs> I think that's a hilarious phrase. So for January, what you're supposedly good at is looking like a snack. And then December, my birth month is being dramatic. I'll pop this up so everyone else can see what they are. Um, September is Bell. that's wasting time. I think I love October and November too, eating all the foods and not remembering anything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a clean. <laughs> you guys know what I was actually gonna shoot today? Was the no mirror makeup challenge. I've been wanting to do that forever and I don't know how it popped into my head last night, but I was like, ooh, I'll do that in the morning. But then I remembered that I have to take Bell to gymnastics tonight. And if things go really bad, I may not have time to redo them. And I just, I don't have that kind of confidence in myself for this challenge. <laughs> So we're gonna save that for another day. Tonight, Bub and I are dividing and conquering because he has an event to go to for work, which I guess is sort of like a, you could bring your kids to it if you want to. So he's gonna take Eve to that and I'm gonna take Belle to gymnastics. It's gonna be a fun night. I don't know what to think about this, guys. Actually, what I wanna think about it is that I'm a little disappointed, but here you go. I got this Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. There are a lot of really pretty looking aspects of this whole line that I saw on Sephora's website, but this was kind of what I wanted to try. Why? Because I'm kind of loving a good glowy blush these days, and I thought that's gonna be in here, the bronzer, the highlights. Let's just show the bronze. They call it a blush in bronze. It swatches like that. It swatches rather intimidatingly, practically but I can't make it really do much on my skin. Maybe I'm not applying nearly enough. Or are you seeing it a little bit there along the hairline? Are you seeing it, my dears? I'm seeing a little bit in person. Okay, maybe I just haven't been laying it on thick enough. Put a little bit here. I don't use a lot of Dior stuff. I feel kind of fancy right now, although the packaging is honestly very non-deluxe. Not even a magnetic closure. I can't believe I'm even attempting to do a soft contour with this. This is such a shimmery product, but I'm shearing it out to the extent that maybe it could. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just not seeing it a ton on my skin. Let's show you the um, blush. I use my Eco Tools, my new Precision Blush Brush. That's what this is. You can buy it individually. And pick up some of that. Are you seeing anything, y'all? A little bit? It's really glowing. It's just not looking like quite as much color as I would like. I just wish it had a hair more actual color intensity because that level of glow is gorgeous. Honestly, the better deal is to get this uh, Revolution Renaissance Illuminate. 
in Radiant and Rose because that's stunning. But I've committed, so I'm gonna keep using this. It's just a hint of pink. Fair skin who want a really glowy blush or just fair skin in general might like the color payoff in this. I think I'll do a little highlight while we're at it. Just because we'll do a little white since it's open. It's here, it's asking, it's waiting for us. Eating all the foods. <laughs> That cracks me up. I'm gonna set with this ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray. I haven't used this much, so this is gonna come as kind of a, is there a citrus thing here? Or is the orange bottle just playing with my head? Yeah, it is a little, there's a little fresh, a, a citrus air wick air freshener or something like that. I'm confident I might be the only YouTuber in the beauty community who just referenced an air wick air freshener today. I just didn't feel satisfied though with the level of blush color. Like normally that's always a, a high point of any video I do is when I put the blush on. I'm like, hey, there's a blush. I look just kind of like really glowy, but I need more color. So I'm gonna give myself some more color. I'm gonna just take this one that I was talking about. Save me. Thank you. Same vibe, just a little more color. You know, sometimes makeup revolution gotta come in and help Dior just the way it is. Brands helping brands. My eyebrow products I'm going to be using are from Hourglass. They are the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil and the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel. I've used the Arch um, Clear Gel before, but I passed that on to my mom because I think she needed it worse. The other day she brought over a clear brow gel that she'd been using. It was like a clear tube so you could see the inside. I don't know why she thought she needed to prove to me that it was empty, but she's like, I'm out of brow gel. <laughs> So I'm like, um, okay, take this one. Like, yes, you must bring your empty product and prove to me that you have used it up. Oh my gosh, I am slap happy today. This is gonna be an interesting day because it's gonna be a long day. But it's Friday Eve and this weekend I get a date because it's me and Bub's anniversary. Bub and I's anniversary? The anniversary of Bub and I. Our marriage. I don't know what we're gonna do exactly yet or which night we're gonna do it. Our anniversary is technically August 5th. We said no gifts, no gifts this time around. We just want a night out. I think we might do sushi. Sounds really good to me. I haven't had it in a while. I don't think I've actually had any since that one vlog where we got that local sushi we were trying. What was that one thing called? The Ridiculous Roll? That was so good. Ah, uh, yes, anniversaries. Last year's anniversary, where did we end up going? We went out to eat and then we ended up in Walmart and I was playing with those giant mascot heads. You guys remember that? Yeah, it was awesome. Bub is the best. I am a lucky lady. Um, Arch Fiber Gel Dark Brunette. So this is the tinted one. It's the same kind of brush as the clear one. Part of the little spikies are longer, which I kind of like because it truly brushes through your brow hairs. And then the other side is shorter and it feels like it deposits more product in for you if you need it. I don't know if I did the greatest job on my brows today, but it's makeup playtime. See, when I feel like I'm here just playing with makeup, I don't give myself rules. I don't give myself expectations. I don't say, oh my gosh, the look has to be this certain way. It's literally just playing around and doing whatever the heck I want. And so I decided to turn on the camera, but like this is what I would just do if I were here by myself. And so this was what I was gonna play with on my eyes today. I mean, I don't know if any of you all are interested in seeing it, but it's the Lorac Pro 4. When I was at the Ulta GMC in Houston, earlier in the spring, I did see this, you know? I caught a little glimpse of it in a video, in a vlog for y'all. I don't know, it's gonna have to surprise me a little bit on the eyes because I'm kind of, I'm, I'm glazing over a little. These are like a lot of the colors that were in that Tarte circular palette. What I like about those bigger Lorac palettes and even the Lorac Pro 1 is that they bounced around a little bit. Like there were different shades coming in. You had some warm, you had some cool. And same with the Lorac Pro 2, the one in the grayish packaging. That one had some different things going on. And whenever they put out something that seems sort of in a monochromatic place, it just can't live up for me. And here, look at that Tarte palette. It's the same kind of thing. It's just kind of, it's dusty plum. It's a little bit of burgundy. It's all matte up top, all shimmer on the bottom. We'll see how it goes, guys. I'll use this uh, Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I hope you guys understand, like, I like these kinds of shades. I am all for plum. I am all for burgundy. I'm all for dusty plum. I just 
like more options included. They're not exactly uncommon shades, and in many cases, for those of us who've been crazy about makeup for years, we've seen those kinds of shades coming and going in a lot of palettes. They're not really like colors we don't already own. Somebody was asking me the other day, like, do you, why don't you set your eye primer? I guess this is a thing that everyone does now, <laughs> like they put their eye primer on and then they set it with like a beigey powder. And I feel like that does kind of take away one of the critical functions of eye primer, which is letting shadows cling to something that's got just a little bit of tack to it, and then it makes them stand out further. You know what I mean? The top row outside of like this color and this color is almost entirely like mid-tone transition shades. I think I'll use a little rosebud. And immediately I'm thinking, yeah, I do love the texture of the rock eyeshadows. Like, I really do. I, I can't deny that. Even if it's a color scheme that doesn't 100% excite me, I still love the way these shadows feel and apply. Now, setting the eye primer, that's something that has yet to really catch on with me. I just don't think you have to, and I feel like your eye primer, one of the things it can do for you is help shadows cling and stand out. Maybe some people are using primers that are just too sticky or something, so they feel like they are getting uneven application and weird clinginess issues. But most of my primers, you know, just don't over apply it and you'll have a nice smooth application, a smooth finish. Or maybe it's a deal where that really helps if you're doing a really, really dark shade in there somewhere and it helps it blend across the eye easier. I'm sure there's a method to the madness. I'm just blending over the outer edge. We'll go ahead and use um, Chantilly. This matte, again, top row is all matte. They stayed kind of with that principle with this palette like they always do. I want to do kind of a dark eye today. I actually want to take a lot of Merlot. Oh, there is a lot of fallout there. And it kind of falls into the neighboring shade, so be aware. We're gonna dab Merlot over a lot of the lid and they do kind of a bright pop maybe in the inner corner. And this is really my first time trying this. I gotta use this more before I can review it for you. Nobody can really give an accurate opinion on a palette with one time use because look how many different shades there are. Like we can't know everything the first go around. That's what Merlot looks like. It's not a real like cranberry color. It is rich and deep like a dark wine, hence the name. Bub and I did a mini cheese board the other night. Didn't even bust out the full-size cheese board, just used a plate, some Gouda, some salami, some little cracker wafer crisp thingies. As you can see, I'm kind of wedging my brush a little bit into the crease because this color is so dark it can easily, you know, provide crease definition. I haven't really like gone dark on my lids in a while. And then this brush, I'm just using bare and allowing that to blend up anything else, any additional product. Okay, just had an idea. I wanna take Begonia here, which is this pink. Look at that. It really captures the light head on, but look how deep it can look. Oops, sorry, wrong finger to be doing this with. I wanna get a little bit of that on my wispy white brush and take that around the outside. Oh yeah, that color's got some surprising depth in there to it. Oh, I really do love the quality of these shadows. That's the overarching takeaway here. Color selection is personal preference, and I do dig plums. I just like when their palettes are a little less monochromatic because I think they do such a good job when they do try to reach out and put in some little different things. And I love how most of the time their big mega pros are that way too, and when they haven't been, that's when I've not liked them as well. I wanna see what this soft pearl shade is like here. It looks like it might have some pink in it. And I wanna take this around. I just like threw some into my actual eye there, into my tear duct. Have fun with that eye. Ooh. I don't want it to like take over my entire lid shade. I want to use a little bit of black currant up here. Really rich looking plum. Add a little to the outside. It's like I just want the look to overall be a little darker. If you're wondering where I got this palette, I just, I got it on Ulta's website as soon as I saw it there. I think I really like that plum. I'm gonna pat some more of it on my lid. Ooh, that's nice. It can be a little overwhelming, so you gotta use it slowly. Like, don't take too much product at once, but if you pace yourself, that's good. That's a good shade. 
So we had our Merlot lid, our Begonia, black currant, outer corner, soft pearl, inner corner. What will the lower lash line be for us? Let's do a little more black currant, outer corner. I'm feeling very fall with this look today, which is fine, because I love fall. I love exuding a fall vibe any time of year. Maybe we'll take a little Java. This is like a really dark bronze, like a, the darkest bronze you've ever seen. It just looks a little murky and dark overall, but a softer option than Midnight right here at the end. So we'll just get some of that going down here. I hope it all got blended enough. The one tough thing sometimes about Lorac eyeshadows is that they do give off so much color, like tapping off the excess is super important, and even still, sometimes when you do, the colors can overwhelm a little bit, like the darkest shades in particular, so you've just got to be really, like, cautious. I want to be light in my lower interim, Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Nude. I've used it before, just kind of gotten the swing of using my um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlight so much that this is not often what I grab for. I don't feel like this lasts as well. For liner today, I think I'm going to use my Milani Stay Put Matte just across my upper lash line here. For some reason, it like skipped a little bit here. I'm going to go over that. Uh, oh, I'm making it worse. Saved it. Oh, what the heck? Some of that got on an eyelash and I blinked and it's under my eye. All right, I'll work with that in a second. You know how in Wizard of Oz, uh, toward the end, when Dorothy thinks she's going back to Kansas, so she says her goodbyes to Tin Man and Lion, and then she says, and Scarecrow, I think I'll miss you most of all. Well, last night before bed, um, Belle's giving me her hug because Bub takes her up and I like put Eve to bed. And she grabs my face and she looks me right in the eye and says, Mommy, I'll miss you most of all. <laughs> this child thrives on little dramatic things like that. I feel like I'm going to be surprised if she doesn't get into some sort of theater acting situation. She's got a great memory and she's also already somehow mastered the art of the dramatic pause. Which wing is longer? Is this wing longer? You guys are thinking, I don't care which wing's longer, just do something about that dot under your left eye. Q-tip? Oh, it's smudgy a little bit. Mm. Just dab a little bit of powder over it, should take away any darkness. And I'm putting black currant here. Okay, love bugs, here's the eyes. Woo. It got dramatic. I actually took some more Merlot, because I'm just playing, right? No mistakes here. I took Merlot and I smudged some more of that on the lower lash line. I don't know. And then I'm going with a dark lip. I grabbed this lip liner from Urban Decay called Hex. So we're going to put that on. I got a little bit of a balm on already, so hopefully it glides on easy. Okay, so I know that doesn't look like 100% perfectly even and everything. That's because I'm going to press in a little bit of my Lo-Fi Lip Mousse in Echo. Okay, a little bit of this just with the finger. This is just my um, casual taking your kid to gymnastics tonight look. <laughs> no, see, those of us who love makeup don't have to have an occasion for the makeup. The makeup is the occasion. Whatever you're doing today, if you're gonna be around the house the entire day, the whole point of this is the fact that I just did this to enjoy the act of putting on makeup, not because I had to do this for this engagement or that thing or whatever. You know, I'm doing this because I love putting it on. Mm. I need to just clean up this cupid's bow just a little bit here. Just wait for it. That's better. Now I can live my life. I just thought I'd take you along with me for my little makeup application today. I think I should really do some staying power check-ins, so this won't be the last you see of me today. The makeup has just been on all day with no touch-ups at all. Um, I do feel like it's holding up pretty well. I'm seeing a little shine on the nose, maybe just a little bit of a breakdown, seeming like a really similar wear to the regular CC cream. Hi, everybody. How was gymnastics? It was good. A final update on the makeup. I'm just... Pretty happy with the way everything's going down right now. I mean, I got a little dew on the nose, a little shine there, but no major breakdown elsewhere. And I have not been touching up my face, really paying that much attention to my face at all today. So I think we're doing pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Say bye everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs>